my name's Taylor and I'm the program director at Bates and today we are going to be making buffalo chicken dip. So we got to get all the ingredients first. You need a block of cream cheese, cheese, ranch, buffalo sauce, and you are going to need two cans of premium chunk white chicken breast. And you can use any chicken, I just prefer the canned chicken because it's so much easier. But the first thing you're gonna do is take your cream cheese. You are going to heat it up in the microwave, put it in a bowl. And I usually do it for 30 seconds to get it nice and soft. And then, while we're waiting for the cream cheese, you are going to take one cup of ranch. Spread it all in here. And you're going to dump it to the bowl. Get your cream cheese out of the microwave. So that is nice and softened in there. You're gonna dump your cream cheese in. So now you've got a block of cream cheese. You've got one cup of ranch. So then next, you're gonna take a half a cup of mild buffalo wing sauce. Get it open. Already got this one open. And dump that in there as well. I like to use a whole cup because I like my buffalo chicken dip a lot more spicier. So now we've got buffalo sauce, cream cheese, and ranch in our bowl. You're going to take the canned chicken. You're gonna open it up, well this one's already open, and you're gonna drain the juice out of the can because you don't want that in your buffalo chicken dip. All right, and then you're gonna dump that in there. You're going to take your second can, open it all up, drain the juice. And you're going to dump your second can in the mixing bowl as well. All right. So you're going to start mixing up your ingredients. And the cream cheese should be nice and soft, so it makes it easier to mix. And when everything's nice and mixed up in the bowl, you're gonna add, I add two cups of cheese. Cause I like it spicy and I like it, like it cheesy. And then, all right. as soon as everything's mixed up in the bowl, you're gonna put it in a container. I use these, cause you can cook with them. But you can put it in any oven safe container and you preheat your oven for 350. And as soon as you put it in the cookable container, you put it in the oven for, I say, 40 minutes, but you wanna check on it 
and keep stir it up a little bit and make sure all everything's melting. And then when you take it out, you let it cool for five minutes and that's it. And that is my recipe for buffalo chicken dip.